Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we'll be wrapping up our kind of brand split series that's, that I've been doing with the Raw, SmackDown, ECW pay-per-views. Um, now it's time for the double feature DVD collection. Uh, I really like this idea. Um, I kind of wish they would have continued it a little bit, but it is what it is. Um, so over the past year, pretty much, they released a lot of pay-per-views. They're no longer doing the brand split or, you know, brand exclusive pay-per-views. I really liked it. I like how they kept continuity throughout the these DVDs, at least. Um, you know, we got the Raw pay-per-views, the SmackDown pay-per-views. We got the year, um, consistent um, logos, and, you know, really, really nice overall to have. You know, it, we got pretty much two for the price of one. Let's get into these guys. Let me know your thoughts on the uh, double feature DVD sets. Let me know some of your favorites from this set. So first up, we would have the Elimination Chamber Fastlane double feature two event combo pack. Um, Elimination Chamber was a SmackDown pay-per-view. Fastlane 2017 being a Raw pay-per-view. I'm not going to go through each and every single match like I said in the, the previous videos, but um, just kind of want to show you the overall packaging and things like that. So... Elimination Chamber, we'll run through that first. This would be where Bray Wyatt would win the WWE title. Um, really, really nice, really great moment. You know, he'd be AJ Styles and John Cena. We had Naomi winning the title. And then uh, Fastlane, Goldberg would win the Universal Championship, which eventually led to Brock winning the Universal title at Mania. So that was a nice... A uh, couple great moments in uh, the beginning of 2017. Up next, we had Payback and Backlash. Um, I absolutely like the, the Payback uh, cover there with Jericho. Um, and I absolutely like the uh, disc art they did with these. You know, it, for a while we had a disc art very similar to the cover. It seemed like they switched it up a bit with these. Um, you know, we had our match with uh, Roman and Strowman. And our feud with uh, Orton and Mahal. Nice AJ Styles tops card. So we had yeah the House of Horrors match at this event. Also Roman versus Braun Strowman, and then Backlash we would have Jinder Mahal winning the WWE title in a. Very, very shocking moment, but I think we all seen it coming for the most part. We had as Nakamura making his in-ring debut, answering the challenge of Dolph Ziggler. And we also had AJ Styles and Kevin Owens in their um, pretty underwhelming feud they had there. It, it, I don't think it got off on the right foot, and the matches really didn't deliver. Next up here, we got Extreme Rules and Money in the Bank 2017. Um, I think this might be one of the best overall sets in this set collection. Um, so we got a Dean Ambrose card and alternate disc art. Not the biggest fan of the Money in the Bank disc art, um, but I like the main event being on the disc. I think that... Um, Pretty much makes it stand out a little bit more. We had Seth Rollins, Samoa Joe, Roman Reigns, Finn Balor, and Bray Wyatt in a Fatal 5-Way match. Uh, 2017 was the year of Fatal 5-Way becoming a thing, if that's a thing. So we had a Fatal 5-Way Extreme Rules matchup, which Samoa Joe won. Um, pretty crazy. So, we also had the Hardy Boys versus Sheamus and Cesaro in a steel cage. Um, those guys had a pretty good feud. And moving on to Money in the Bank, we had the first ever women's 
Money in the Bank ladder match between Charlotte Flair, Carmella, Becky Lynch, Natalia, and Tamina. Uh, Carmella victorious there. And Baron Corbin. You know, I like Baron Corbin, but his run as Money in the Bank really didn't do much for me or him. Uh, and that had AJ Styles, Nakamura, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Corbin, and Dolph Ziggler. Um, we had that epic moment between uh, Nakamura and AJ Styles. A little tease before their feud this year. Next up, a pretty good show and a pretty bad show. Great Balls of Fire and Battleground 2017. Samoa Joe would get his uh, title shot at Great Balls of Fire. And then we had the return of the Punjabi Prison match. I didn't hate that match. I'll put it that way, but uh, we have Rusev and Cena in a flag match. A John Cena card. And our main event, Joe and Lesnar. So at this point, Lesnar was pretty dominant. We also had Strowman and Reigns in that ambulance match. Really, really good. Uh, Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks. I don't really remember that being anything special. So, Battleground 2017. Uh, we had Styles and Owens again. We had the flag match, Cena and Rusev. And Great Khali making his return. We also had a women's championship in a Fatal 5-Way match. Again, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of these little descriptions on the DVDs, but I think it worked for these sets. They really needed the inserts during this time. Um, I mean, you know, you read a couple paragraphs, you have your two matches sometimes, but... Moving along, another really good set. Um, no Mercy and Hell in a Cell. No Mercy um, had a really good potential to be a great show, but um, I don't know, something about it. I mean, a lot of people were disappointed with Strowman and Lesnar. And then this weird cover here with uh, Hell in a Cell. Owens climbing up one side and Shane's jumping off the other. I don't get it. So we had Cena and Reigns at No Mercy, Kevin Owens card. Um, it was really like the Cena and passing the torch to Reigns. We also had another Fatal Five Way for the women's title. <laughs> WWE and their Fatal Five Ways. Um, Fatal Five Ways are just awkward. And Hell in a Cell, one of my favorite matches was that New Day vs. Usos, tag team titles, Hell in a Cell match. Um, we also had Jinder Mahal, I believe, versus Nakamura. Um, also, Charlotte Flair vs. Natalia. So, uh, Hell in a Cell, I, I enjoyed the two Cell matches, which um, are, mean the most to me. So, and finally, in 2018... We had the first ever seven-man Hell in a Cell match and the first ever women's, or I said seven-man Hell in a Cell, the seven-man Elimination Chamber and the first ever women's Elimination Chamber. Also, Fastlane 2018s kind of look similar. Eh? A lot of people have mentioned that as well. Um, so at this point, it was rumored that... Uh, Mine didn't come with the uh, card either. It was rumored that, you know, the brand split or the co-branded pay-per-views would return after WrestleMania. So no more double feature, two event combo DVD sets. Um, but this one was pretty good. I liked uh, Fastlane a little bit. And uh, the two chamber match delivered. We had uh, Ronda Rousey contract signing Oscar I believe verse Nia Jax looks like so really really good stuff here by this point AJ Styles is now the WWE champion he won that uh shortly before Survivor Series which uh 
great, great moment here. Usos versus New Day, which didn't turn out to be much because of uh, Harper and Rowan's interference. But overall, guys, I would definitely recommend to pick up these double feature DVD sets. Take some time. Subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you later. Peace.